We all think that the age of the dinosaurs is over, but oh, how wrong we are. Today, we're going to be taking a look at 10 prehistoric creatures that still exist to this very day. Number one is special because who knew that such a fragile animal would turn out to be one of the oldest species still living today? Ooh, just gotta watch out for that one. With all that said and done, though, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The Lamprey. The lamprey is a parasitic fish that has survived four major evolutionary extinctions in their 360 million years of swimming the ocean. Though granted, they are now mainly confined to the Atlantic Ocean and in the Great Lakes. Similar in structure to leeches or eels, they do not possess bones, but instead have a cartilaginous skeleton with a single tail fin and feed off of other fish by sucking nutrients from their bloodstream. While lampreys lack jaws, they use a large suction-like mouth filled with tiny horn-shaped teeth and a razor-sharp tongue. Though the teeth can look intimidating, it's the tongue you really need to watch out for. The teeth simply help the lamprey attach to its victim while the tongue does most of the work, scraping away enough scales to reach the soft flesh of the fish. Currently, they are important to the work of scientists as they are crucial to understanding how the first backbone animals evolved and with their remarkable ability to heal from severe nerve damage, how spinal cord injuries can be healed in humans. Since lampreys can live both in fresh and salt water, they play a major role in healthy estuaries. The way they do that is by transporting nutrients from the ocean to freshwater environments. Number 9. The Nautilus. No, we're not talking about the submarine used by Captain Ahab, we're talking about the prehistoric animal that it was named after. Dominating the ancient seas 500 million years ago, the Nautilus was a mollusk that thrived when the continents were still forming. Originally, there were 10,000 different species. Today, only a few survive in the Western Pacific Ocean and coast of the Indian Ocean as well. Chambered Nautiluses hunt for fish, crabs, and lobsters by using chemosensors on their 90 retractable suckerless tentacles to pick up food scents. They use their beak-like mouth to pry open tough shells and an internal tube called the hepanomo to regulate the amount of water and air in their shell. They master the art of buoyancy so well that we looked at the Nautilus to inspire the submarine. With breathtaking shells that come in an array of colors and patterns, the Nautilus is at risk of overharvesting. Additionally, they are considered a highly vulnerable species due to their low reproductive rates, slow growth, and late maturity. Number 8. The Giant Freshwater Stingray. One of the largest, if not the largest, freshwater fishes in the world, the giant freshwater stingray grows upwards of 1.9 meters across and may reach 600 kilograms in weight. Its thin, oval pectoral fin disc is estimated to have evolved about 100 million years ago. Brown to gray in color, the giant stingrays are wide and flat in form, and they sport long, whip-like tails, and they're known to prowl river systems in Thailand, Cambodia, Malaysia, and Indonesia. They often bury themselves in sandy or silty river bottoms, and they often breathe through holes or spiracles on top of their bodies. Although stingrays do not readily attack humans, they are one of the few megafishes that can pose a real danger to those who handle them. Each ray has a sharp barb on the base of its tail that can easily penetrate human skin and bone, much like a hunting arrow. The stinger can be as long as 15 inches and typically introduces toxins to the victim's wound. Experts, however, stress that the rays are non-aggressive and inquisitive. However, they can still attack, as we all know the fate of Steve Irwin. Rest in peace, sir. You're still missed to this very day. Number 7. The Horseshoe Crab. The Horseshoe Crab is one of evolution's ultimate survivors, dating back 450 million years, outliving the dawn of dinosaurs and five mass extinctions. They're also not actually crabs. The horseshoe crab is actually classified under Subphylum chelicerata, along with scorpions, spiders, and ticks. The anatomy of a horseshoe crab consists of three parts. That being the front shell, the back shell, and the tail. Although you may think they are poisonous or can sting you, the horseshoe crab is practically harmless. It uses its tail as a rudder and to turn itself over if flipped on its back. Horseshoe crabs also have eyes everywhere, ten in total. Besides their good looks, horseshoe crabs are important to the biomedical industry, where their blue blood is used to help identify bacterial toxins. If you ever had an injection, vaccination, or surgery, you can thank the horseshoe crab for ensuring its safety. This isn't a rare sight by any means. Horseshoe crabs are found on the eastern U.S. coastline. You may have seen a horseshoe crab if you have visited Florida's beaches, and during the devastating 2018 Red Tide event in Florida, hundreds of horseshoe crabs washed ashore. Though they were once amazing at adapting to their environment, they are now facing extinction due to climate change, habitat loss, and overharvesting. Number 6. The Frilled Shark. 
Sharks in general are already universally thought of as prehistoric species, but this one shark species also looks the part. Researchers believe the frilled shark first existed about 95 to 150 million years ago. Although this particular shark is rather uncommon, there have been scattered reports of their existence all around the world. Some places they have been found include the Eastern Atlantic around Norway, Ireland, and Scotland, the Western Pacific around Japan and Australia, and in the Eastern Pacific around California and Hawaii. These reports are uncommon simply because this crazy old sea serpent prefers to stay about 500 to 1,000 meters below the surface. Filled sharks don't look like any other shark that you've seen before. They basically have the body of an eel, but their head with 300 triton-shaped teeth are definitely all shark. Just behind all those teeth are a set of 6-inch frilled gills, which obviously leads to the common name of this incredibly bizarre shark. The way the fins are organized on this shark leads to an odd-looking tail, which has been compared to the wings of a throwing dart. Number 5. The Coelacanth Thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago, the coelacanth was rediscovered in 1938. The coelacanth is predicted to belong to a lineage that has been around for 360 million years, and it is a fish unlike many others. The coelacanth can live for longer than 60 years and is considered a member of the Ostythicus taxonomic group that feeds on cephalopods and on other fish. What sets them apart, however, is their strange connection to the evolutionary process with terrestrial four-legged amphibians. Their four fleshy fins extend from their body and propel them in a way that resembles the alternate movement of fore and hind legs. Additionally, coelacanths possess a hinged joint in their skull to allow them to open their mouth wider and a rostral organ, which is an electrosensory organ that allows them to detect prey. Both are characteristics that are no longer found in vertebrates today. There are many more characteristics that set coelacanths apart from other fish, but with poor construction, bycatch, and climate change, these ancient fish are again at risk of extinction. Number 4. The Tuatara The Tuatara may look like a rather ordinary reptile, but it's a highly unusual creature. This New Zealand native has a unique ancient lineage that goes back to the time of the dinosaurs. Though they look like modern-day reptiles and lizards, they have a body structure that scientists believe has remained basically the same for 200 million years. For this reason, Tuatara is of great interest in the study of the evolution of both lizards and snakes. Mature Tuataras usually measure between 12 and 30 inches long and weigh between 0.5 and 2.5 and pounds. Their skin is greenish-gray and is somewhat speckled. Tuataras make their homes in coastal forests and low scrub, preferring areas with crumbly soil in which they can burrow. Tuataras mature slowly and don't stop growing until they reach about 30 years old. It is thought they can live up to 100 years in the wild. Part of the reason for their longevity may be their slow metabolism. Tuataras can tolerate much lower temperatures than most reptiles, and they hibernate during the winter. They're also born with a third eye on top of its head called the parietal eye, complete with a retina, lens, cornea, and nerve endings. The parietal eye is only visible in hatchlings as it becomes covered in scales and pigments after four to six months. Its function is subject of ongoing research, but it is believed to be useful in absorbing ultraviolet rays and in setting circadian and seasonal cycles. Number 3. The Pygmy Right Whale The Pygmy Right Whale is an elusive creature, shrouded in mystery as one of the rarest whale species today. Spotted at sea only a few dozen times, actually. Due to the rarity of live specimens and fossil evidence, scientists haven't been able to determine much about what they eat, their reproduction, and overall behavior. What we do know about Pygmy Right Whales is that they are considered one of the smallest whales, measuring up around 21 feet in length. They live in the open ocean and are generally believed to be confined to the southern hemisphere's cool waters. Besides their small size, they are characterized by an arched, frowning snout. With a recent discovery of pygmy right whale fossils in Japan and Italy, researchers suggest that the whale emerged from the baleen whale family between 17 and 25 million years ago. Others still argue whether or not the whale is a descendant of a family called Cetotheres, a group that existed 23 million years ago. Regardless of their exact lineage, the pygmy right whale is again at risk. Just as the fossil evidence from Italy and Japan suggests, these whales are not made for warmer waters. As our ocean continues to warm due to climate change, the pygmy right whale's time on Earth may be in jeopardy. Now it's time for the day's best pick. And today we feature an animal that we can all easily compare to dinosaurs because of how they look. But not all people know they are more ancient than most popular dinosaurs. Number 2. Crocodilians Our best pick is a no-brainer. Crocodilians are definitely an ancient species. 
People know this just by looking at them, because unlike all of the other entries on this list, crocodilians resemble dinosaurs the most. This animal group doesn't only include crocodiles and alligators, they also include caimans, gharials, and false gharials. They appeared on the scene about 250 million years ago in the early Triassic period and are still going strong to this very day, with their modern counterparts showing little to no change from their ancient ancestors. While early crocodilians are small, two-legged terrestrial animals, they abandon their terrestrial lifestyle and turn to the water. This is when we begin to see the marine adaptations that characterize modern crocodiles and alligators. Long bodies, splayed limbs, and narrow, flat-toothed studded snouts with powerful jaws. Mind you, that is a necessary innovation. This is because crocodiles feasted on dinosaurs and other animals that ventured too close to the water, the same way modern crocs hunt today. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Jellyfish Jellyfish are a charismatic subphylum that is familiar to all. Fossil evidence dates them as far back as 500 million years ago, if not longer. Because they're soft-bodied creatures, they are at least 95% water. Their fossils are extremely difficult to find, but not impossible when preserved in fine sediment. Jellyfish have a simple structure that lacks almost everything that distinguishes plant from animal, including blood, a heart, and a brain. They contain only a basic network of neurons that allow them to sense their environment. What sets them apart from the rest of the animals on this list is their high adaptability and predicted successful future. Because of their lack of complex features, things like temperature, salinity, and acidity, which are causing the demise of so many other animals, are not a problem for them. In fact, warm temperatures and dead zones are places where sea jellies thrive. And because their natural predator struggles in these changing environments, their number will only continue to grow. Did we leave any animal out? Of course we did, so make sure to let us know in the comments section below. Want to watch more videos about these amazing animals? Click on any of the videos you see on your screen. As always, everybody, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.